All right, just got off of work again. Uh, today is Thursday, so uh, it rained again a bunch last night after we quit, so I don't really think we're gonna do any picking tonight, but Lee's gonna go dump that truck we picked last night and empty the beans out of the semi. So those are ready to roll for either tomorrow night or Saturday. And then, uh, well, this guy's picking right here. She's right across the street from us. They're rolling. Maybe we should be too, but we'll see. Hey, uh, we're gonna dump both trucks so our trucks are empty. And we're gonna test out a couple of our other fields and see if they're drier, because the field we were in last night was 25%. Dad took it down the elevator and got it tested. So if we can help it, we don't want to pick it that wet. It's just uh, a lot of wasted fuel for the dryer, so. We usually like to go down around 20% if it's possible. We sprayed fungicide on a lot of our corn this year, so. Not really sure if that's gonna happen or not. We'll see. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. So the only other thing I'd like to do is see if I can charge the AC in our tractor, the 270. Because Dad and Corey were both saying that AC wasn't working in that. So at least we can check that off the list. Yeah, see if that's the issue or not. So Alrighty, we're gonna get to her. See how this goes. My little pit filled with water, but that's okay. I think I'll pull up and get straightened out a little bit more. Got the trailer a little too far away, but full learning curve, first time doing it. 
I like how low the hopper is now. Fits under there. Fits under there pretty easily. But I like to have this out here. So I can do that next time. I don't think I'm gonna move it now. Just gonna try it out and see what happens. Left our little door open up there, so go make sure there's no water in it. Probably is. Hope not. Okay. A pretty view. My parents' house. There's my house. And grandpa's house is right over there, which Corey lives in it now. There's our bend set up. Could use one more big bend, then we'd be set. Maybe next year, a couple years down the road. That's definitely on the to-do list. Alrighty, let's go help dad get started. Got her. Old seven eighty six. Ready to do some work. Oh, got no key. I come back just a hair too.
Well, that worked pretty smooth for the first time. So I get that set in, that'll be easy. I think I can even put that rubber back on there. That'll stop some of those beans from bouncing. That little pile, I just didn't have it over far enough. So it was coming out, but all these were just bouncing out of the auger. So if I put that rubber back on, I think that'll help a lot. Got plenty of room now. That little pit is perfect. I can still drive over it, but get to down low enough. Probably have to put another one off of this side of the corn one so I can dump in there too. So. All right, one truck down, finish Dad's truck, and then see if we want to go pick some or not. We're picking right down the street, but we kind of talked about not picking tonight because it was going to be too wet. We'll see. Here's the old logo. We made a decision we're not going to pick tonight, but we're going to run over to one of our other farms and grab a couple ears and show them and see what they test. Be nice if we could find some that was down around 20 or 22. So. Alright, so this is one field we didn't spray fungicide on. Everything else did. You can see it, it's on there, but. Honestly, don't know if it's any worse. I don't really know if it's any worse than the other fields. Stocks are still pretty strong. There, it broke off, but I had to push it over pretty far. Some tall corn. Grab some random mirrors and test it. It looks pretty good. Pretty nice looking ear there. All right, I'm gonna get out of here and head back to the farm and see what this stuff tests. All right, so we picked three ears out there. I just filmed this already, but had it on the wrong setting. But we picked three ears out there. One was 16 by 32, one was 16 by 36, almost 14 by 40 so pretty good ears and uh hopefully saturday we have the cone tank empty which holds 2000 we can fill that take the semi and both tandems that'll be roughly 4,000 bushel or so 
we can hopefully pick that whole field at 16 acres out there so that'd be nice that'd be a good saturday if we pick 16 20 acres for us that's a really good day on corn mostly because we're just limited on our cone tank which is only holds 2,000 bushels so that's something to upgrade at some point but not right now we got a helicopter today eventually i'd like to make that then our wet tank which holds 5,000 but i don't know how we tie it all together and stuff so i'll have to figure that out Well, what do you think? I won the first round. 20. So 24 and it was 25. Yep, so. 20. That's pretty well. 19.5. Okay. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, yeah. I could pick and you guys can run the trucks. Get the dryer going. I mean, there's no way it's as wet as it is over there. No. Twenty-seven six. No way. No way. That's right. No way. Try putting it on, not corn high. That is not wetter than what was down there. No, not even close. That other stuff is almost like waxy. Yeah. I could see 21, 22, but then I'm... Not no 26. Got it on corn high? I put it on corn low now. It was on corn high. Okay. See what that says, and then just pour that right back in the cup and do it on corn high. Too wet to test. That's because you got it on corn low. 28. I can't believe that. That's really surprising. Take it down and get it tested tomorrow. But it's never been that far off. No. At the most, it's a couple points off. Uh, yeah, that something's not right. I mean, it still does feel wet, but not. Not no 27, 28. Not the way that scaled off the cob. Remember next year to plant about a 104, 105 so we can get this, started. Yeah. At least have one decent sized field, like one 30 or 40 acre field where yeah. we can pick early. Plant, uh, plant Max and Walmart in about 104, 105. Oh, yeah. Go plant that first 
And that way, if we get a spell like we do now with the weather, we could go out there and pick that. Yeah, that'd be good. We had that 104 day, but we never planted it. We should have. I still don't believe that's 28. I don't either. Run down there tomorrow if you feel like it. Yep. Should have went and grabbed a couple years from Pinola, too. But that's the same hybrid. Same hybrid. And we planted on the same day. And we put fungicide on it, so that should be wetter than this. Hmm. That, yeah. Let's if it's that wet, we're going to pick what we already started picking, then, I guess. Yeah. Stay right here. Alrighty, well that was kind of disappointing. It said 28. I don't really think it's 28, but Dan will check it out tomorrow. I'll take it to the elevator and get it tested. Usually our tester's within a couple points, though. So, so I don't know. We'll see. We should just try out so we can pick beans, like we we're saying. But I don't think that's gonna happen until next week. Alrighty, I guess this wasn't a very exciting video, but that's all we got today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hit her again uh well tomorrow tomorrow we're taking off saturday it's supposed to rain again tomorrow so i got a promotion at work so me and abby are gonna go out and celebrate a little bit and saturday we're gonna hit it hard somewhere we'll pick something so all righty see you next time